Now, Fanam, Snake Bone, the Shah, the Shah of Fanam. Let's welcome his opponent out of the red corner from Basic Sports Club in Vienna, Austria. Give it up for Dominic the Dom Chopin! Es ist Dominic der Kiel, an den ich nicht wirklich schon klären wollte. Ich komme von den Feist hoch trainieren, doch für mich erst vor euch auf. Stolz Kaschmir, die mir wer voll kämpft, doch in der Macht, ich weiß, ich spiele, ich kann schwerst voll. Drauf die Augen auf, wo der Gegner hieß, drücke mit Staub, brauch ich die Lüfte mit am Leber hieb. Na, na, Kaschmir-Partie, der Gegner pfeift aus dem letzten Loch, scheiß auf verletzten Stolz, greift nach der letzten Chance. Exciting, dynamic, dangerous strikers, ladies and gentlemen, Dominic the Dom Schober has never been to the judges in a 19 fight career period. And it's not happening tonight. There are three things you can count on, death. Taxes and this fight not going the distance. As soon as this fight was announced, the global MMA world took notice. Two of the most exciting stand and bang type of fighters in the world right now will throw down for your entertainment. Nine of Dominic's 11 wins have come in the very first round. He has never even seen a third round in his professional career. That's how exciting this guy is. A real on your shield or on your shield or on your sword kind of fighter. He throws everything at his opponents and he has plans after this fight of moving down to welterweight. Good heavenly earth. There he is moving around the brave cage, and here is the Roaring Lion to tell you about it. All right, Brave Nation, don't blink as this next battle is three five-minute rounds in the Brave CF Middleweight Division. Introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of five wins and one loss. He stands 80 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 83.8 kilograms. Fighting out of junkyard MMA in South Africa. Please welcome Mzwantile Snakebone. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 11 wins and 8 losses. He stands 180 centimeters tall and weighs a ready 83.7 kilograms. Fighting out of Basic Sports Club in Vienna, Austria. Give it up for Dominic. 
So we have the TL on the TL 29 and 30, respectively. Everything else is virtually identical. We have the Sabre Yorman in the middle, and I am absolutely buzzed for this fight. Hey, so to fill are these fighters. It's on! Oh, huge kick to open up from Nswan Dile. He's been working diligently on his takedown defense in order to keep the fight where he feels most comfortable. That is on the feet. Fantastic footwork from Snake Down. Snake Bone. Oh. Snake Bone's now down on the ground. We're going to get a chance to see how much he's had an opportunity to work on his groundwork. This is exactly where, if you were um, a more cerebral fighter like Dom is, it's where you would want to take the fight. You know that it's pretty much 50-50 in the stand-up, but if you take your man down, that's where you have the distinct we'll advantage. Fun. What we're going to get an opportunity to see here is if Snakebone has had the opportunity Spirit. to work on his stand-ups, and it looks like he has. He's got the underhook. He's got a half guard on one side. Wants to get in his elbow and then clear that leg out of there while keeping Hola his hips as Hola as possible. Hola if he doesn't, he can get caught in that guillotine, and that can be it. He does need to be wary of the guillotine, as Dom does have five He's wins. hand-fighting, and he's up! And a knee, and a... Shot in the Shy knee, the knee. Needs to be wary of what he's doing with those fingers. Hey. Can't be putting them out like that. But again, that's going like to be a huge Zandile. feather in the cap from Zwandile getting back up like that. Will Dom choose to go for the takedown again, or will he stand and bang a little bit? As you said, Phil, that was a huge confidence booster. Zwandile now knows if he gets taken down, he can get back up and do what he would rather do, which is punch and kick. Dom tried the high kick and paid for it a little bit, got clipped as he got up. That yeah, was a spinning back. elbow attack. And we remember what happened the last time one of those landed. So do 10 million other people. A big man wants to go viral and he's mixing it up beautifully with the kicks. That's a big head kick. He's opening it up right now. Oh, oh, legs are about to go. Tries to pop that elbow. And again, it's a relentless attack. Will he force the Dom into the takedown? And he's opened them up. This is huge, half the cyclist, throws him to the ground, hits the body, can't be the almost over. Revan is watching carefully. Again, fighter health and safety is the greatest concern in great combat. Revan's watching carefully. Oh, the shot lands! That's absolutely huge. Will he choose to attack the body? Can't Dom get back to his feet? And he's turned his back a little bit. Big knees being landed. Ferdy Basu calling for more from him. Shai Fanoa. Dom Schober still in this fight. Shai Fanoa. Went in for a single. Needs to be aware that. Yeah, we must win. Fanamu. Oh, Canada. Hey. Landed here by Zwantile Longwa. Huge props to the Dom for staying in this fight. That's an amount of pressure that very, very few human beings can withstand. And he just passes that guard seamlessly through the boy. legs to the side. Maybe trying to set up a, a look momentary like he's trying to set up a Peruvian necktie. Could be switching to a Dars. But he seems like he's just happy to land punches at will here. I have to be honest, Phil. What Snakebone wants to do right now is back up, call his opponent up. His opponent is now compromised mentally. He's compromised physically. He wants to get this fight back up. It looks like that's where we have it. Aish. Now, Snakebone, as you see, wants to make a little bit of distance, secure an underhook, and then reverse position to get out of there. I believe we're going to be looking at the doctor is now going to check a cut over the eye of Dom the Dom Shover. That cut does look like it's just right above the eye of the game. But again, this could be, if the fight continues, this could be a positive for Dom, as it's giving him a little bit of time to get his senses back. It is... Ladies and gentlemen, a brave nation, a cut can be very, very minor and, and look terrible. There can be a lot of blood there, but it can be literally of no medical significance. Or it can be a tiny, tiny cut, but if it's in exactly the right spot over an important nerve, it can end the fight. It looks like it's right on the yeah. eyelid, so it's not above the eye going down into it. And Dom Schubert, of course he wants to continue fighting. That's the type of guy he is. 
and this is exactly what Dom wants to do. And as I said, that little reprieve might have been the best possible thing for Dom Schober. Lands a beautiful double leg, and from here, he goes to work in the dominant position. Oh, I've happen, done, I've very done. often, the get in your eye banged open is good for you, but thus far, it has been for the Dom. I think right now we're seeing the game plan of Dom Schober. It may have been uh, modified somewhat as the fights progress, but I think he will want to take as one delay down. He's trying to work on a guillotine here, but it's an awkward position. He's hooked up a leg. He's getting a little bit more torque on this. He does have some pressure on the side of the neck. It's only on one side. At this point, it's a slow choke. It could even be a neck crank. It's not pleasant to be in, but it's not going to put the lights out yet. Snakebone has 40, 44 seconds to remain in this fight, and he is now out of that guillotine choke attempt. Don't mind trying to free him off and perhaps land a strong man. elbow. Can Maslan Dile get back to his feet, or can Dom Schober change the tide of this fight? Strong man. Nasty ground and pounds. Again, Juan Dile now has the underhook. He's on his elbow. He may switch to his hand. Then he's going to elevate his hips, and you're going to see his left leg sneak out from between Strong there, man. and he'll be up to standing if possible. But Dom Schober is an absolute dog when it comes to a fight. He'll Strong man. there right to the very last second. Strong man. Nice little short elbows being landed here by Dom. Excellent round by both fighters. Both fighters had great moments in here. I think Snake Bone took that 10-9. But as I said, I spent a lot of time in South Africa. Huge respect to the Zulu people. Maybe I'm a little biased. What do you think, Phil? I think it was an incredibly interesting round. You've seen Maslan Dile open up with some huge strikes. He landed a massive massive shot that opens up a cut on the eye of Dom Schober but then after that Dom looked a little bit more re-energized revitalized I think you're going to see Dom come out in the second round maybe try and set up the takedown with his hands but I don't think he's going to want to spend too much time standing with Nzwandile agreed 100% I think he now has a clear path to victory in this fight yeah. and is not standing and banging I think he's going to trade a little bit I'll try and lure his hey, opponent into overcommitting level change get in on those hips try and get topside control and bang his way to a victory cool one if you're the head coach, Ferdy Bassoon of Nzwan Dile, you're going to be telling him to, to keep the base wide, use your movement, and be aware of the takedown, which I think is inevitable from Dom yeah. Schober. Yeah. It is indeed, and what you can do to shut that takedown, among other things, is to move in a circular fashion. If Snakebone moves straight forward behind those shots, I do believe he's going to get put on his back. He wants to play from the outside a little bit, and circle. We're going to find out Don't just relax, a second bro, whether he so. So. And there he is. He's circling away from his opponent now, keeping at distance. Dom does have a little bit of professional boxing experience, so he'll be trying to cut the Brave Arena off and create angles for himself to get in on that takedown. Take your time. Take your time, Panam. Take your time. Asha! I'm getting it. Make it. front kicks are so His? dangerous. Jokushin Mike Gary from the South African fighter. His? Oh, you have seen Make it, yeah. See Dom, I think he just looks like he's biding his time trying to set something up here. Hey, we have him clear. Interestingly, Dom choosing to stand. Obviously has confidence in his hands, trying to land that big right. Nice movement from this one delay. That's a huge kick, but reply from Dom. In get if I know. I'd like to see Dom use his strikes to pressure Nzwan Dile against the cage and then try and score a takedown from there. Aish, 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 Aish. We know it's so much harder to score a takedown when you're out in the open of the cage. Nzwan Dile is, is, is choosing his shots carefully now. He's trying to throw the shots from the outside far enough away so he doesn't get taken down to the ground where he does not want to be. As you say, there's that circular lateral movement being implemented by Nzwan Dile. And he's landing big kicks to the body, and that's almost like if you're playing a like Street Fighter or something Ish, like nah, that. Nah, 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 the nah, 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 the same one now in Angai. He Khalil. He Khalil. He man. He Trying to control his one delay, and this fight is living up to expectations. This is to watch this neck. 
This is turning into a blood and guts kind of war. Don't fool me, fan. Dom trying to implement that Dajistani handcuff, get a hand free and land strikes. As I've said, Phil, positionally one of the most fuga dangerous fuga points fuga fuga in fuga mixed fuga. martial arts is when you're on the bottom against the cage, your opponent's on top and you try to stand. There's a huge chance of you getting your back taken at that point. Don't fool me. Halfway point of the second round. This is exactly where Dom Schubert wants to be. This is where he can implement his game. Smash down with elbows, but for Maslan Dine oh, on the bottom, he needs to get himself against oh, cool the cage, post an arm, get back up to his feet. He cannot lay prone in this position. Wrong man. He cannot. He needs to take his right arm, reach under his opponent's arm. It's called an underhook. Pull the opponent down, try and control the opponent. He's, he's looking for it now. Then he'll get in his elbow, then his Strong man. He'll elevate the hips, and that leg that you see sneaking out from between the opponent's legs will post and he'll be up. This is not where he wants to be right now. Beautiful spin. Exactly no delay, but Dom Shobi, you have to give him credit for taking that, reverting to type, scoring the takedown, showing just how tough and no durable no the Austrian no is. No this is mixed martial arts. This is physical chess. If you lose in one regard, you just take the, take the game to a new level. To Come a new place. Me, Dom just forcing that force into the throat, almost it like a gay paper cutter type submission. That's all it does. Don Dele trying to dig in for the underhook. You can see him trying to dig in. That's all it does. I'm good. Perhaps showing a little bit of uh, the relative inexperience in the MMA grappling side of things. And it's not just an experience. That's all it does. Of course, had a terrible time. I'm trying to dig in. I'm trying to dig in. He's not been able to spend the time in the gym that he wants to. Phil, we saw him as a boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Mask right now. Come on, boy. I believe that was an elbow from. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Strike so much that when he's taking punishment, come on, boy. He still throws an elbow. Come on, boy. Right there, and I do believe it had devastating consequences. Dom is losing a lot of. Come on, boy. Now it'll be interesting to see if this fight gets to the end of the second round. If that's cleaned up, will he be allowed to continue? Come on, he wants to continue, but right now he is leaking like a badly installed kitchen tap. Above for the player. Zwandile on his back needs to be on his side. From his back, though, he is landing well, strikes, and as we saw, at least one of them had some terribly effective consequences. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Moment he's been waiting for. He's in on the single. Yes, sir. He's not trying to reverse. He's trying to stand up. Yes, sir. As he stands up, he's got to keep that head. Yes, sir. He can get caught in a guillotine. Aye. Come boy. Left, as you say, with both these men Come boy. It could be advantageous for Dom to try and snap Achoo! the likes of a guillotine. Hey. He doesn't have enough time to do ah, it. Well, well done, boy. Well done, well done, well done, well done. We well done. thought that this was going to be a blood and guts type of war, and we are 100% correct. Still, we do see the doctor well done, coming boy. in to attend to the fighter. How much does Dom Schuber have left? He's taking some serious well done, punishment. Boy. He's taking... He's lost a lot of blood in terms of his heart, Phil. Well Alan done, boy. Well done, boy. 100% in here. What it comes down to at this moment is fighting for safety. Help. Oh, Baba. If the doctor believes that that cut could have long-term health consequences, this fight is over. So and this fight is over. Oh. Zwan Dile, snake bone, <laughs> is the winner. Yeah. Well done, boy. Well done, boy. We're going to have a new ball. Hey, well. Sit and be like a fan of the show. Yes. Yes. And if you don't be on the show, the doctor's decision Well done, boy. Career, so the right decision was made. Well done, boy. Well done. Just hey. below the right ah. eye, sorry, the left eye of Dom Schober, and he's frustrated. Yeah, fun. He wants to continue to fight. This ah, was not fun, his decision. Eh? He did not quit. The fight was stopped by the ringside 
Oh, sorry, Kate Scythe. Nice one. You can see the frustration on Dom Schober. Nice one. Black. He's a warrior. You're looking at a Zulu warrior right now. And then so I'm delay. Snake going wrong well. Well done, boy. Phil making that moment all the more extraordinary. The fight ending blow was landed from bottom half guard. We nail it. We nail it for now. I'm like, I'm a man. Not happy with his performance. Well, Great show of sportsmanship. Lift his opponent's hands up. Didn't, he was not happy with himself. He didn't like the way that fight ended up on bottom. Phil, no fighter wants the fight to end this way. You don't want the doctor to end it. You want to end it yourself. But really, with a fighter like Dom Schober, he's, he's the kind of guy you almost need to, you put, need to put his lights out to get him out of there. There's no quit in this match. Hey, a fantastic, fantastic performance from both men. You can see just the nastiness <laughs> of that cut. Hey, what's that, Lili Ngala? Let's throw it up to the roaring line of brave Mr. Carlos Kramer for the official decision. All right, Brave Nation, what an incredible battle between these two elite warriors. This comes to an end when we have a doctor stoppage at the end of the second round. And your winner, out of the blue corner, from South Africa, Mzwandile Snakebone. Here's a twan. Here's a twan. Ah, I'll push it. Seems to be making a habit of fighting these incredibly tough guys. His last three fights, Hamza Shimaev, Jeremy Pitbull Smith, and Dom Sugar. This guy does not take easy fights. 100% Phil. And as I always say, what you're looking at, ladies and gentlemen of Brave Nation, what you're looking at, is a united nations of brotherly, brotherhood, and comradeship. We're here in Bahrain, combat kingdom, watching a sport invented and developed in Brazil. My boy is a car, I'm fine. My boy is a car. And another warrior from Austria. He's a lemon wash. He's a lemon. He's a lemon wash. 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 He's a l